Okay, so we are on the colon operator part two under array indexing. So uh, here we want to see the second function of uh, the colon operator. And uh, look at this, guys. So from what we saw as the first function, right, what we want to do now is uh, actually index a whole row or a whole column. Okay, let's say we need all of this third row. Okay. As an example, and here we will also need to take all of this fourth column. Okay, so how do we do that in MATLAB? Well, one of the ways that we can we can use from what we just saw even from the previous video is to say a of what do we want. We want the whole row, right? The whole row three. So we we'll just at the at the level of the row dimension, it will be three. Then at the level of the column dimension, what can we do? We can say 1 is to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Is to 5, right? And the 1 is to 5 would give us what? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, <laughs> yes, and fifth column, right? So pressing enter there gives me this, okay? So I'll have 2, 6, 10, 10, exactly what, what we have this way. Uh, but then... You may find yourself in situations where you don't even know the size of, of the array, but yet you want the whole third row of that particular array or the whole uh, nth column of that particular array, okay? You may find yourself in situations like that. So to do that, okay, all you need to do is A, okay, you indicate the row that you want, 3, and then comma, at the level of the column, to indicate that you want all of the columns of that particular row, you will just put the column operator. As simple as that. Okay? So the column operator, yes, says that because it's at, it's at the second dimension, okay, it's at the level of the column indications or the column indexing, you're saying that you want all of the, the, the column elements of this third row. So on the third row, you want the element of the first column, the second column, the third column, the fourth column, and the fifth column, okay? So this column here stands for all the elements in this dimension, okay, that match with this other dimension. So let's try that. And you see that it gives us exactly the same answer, okay, which is 2, 6, 10, 10, 9. So uh, to select a whole column, you apply the same principle in the opposite sense, right? So uh, we want 2, 5, 10, 8, 10. To do that, you just say A. And what do we want? We want all of the rows of this particular column, right? So we'll just say column, comma. The column number is, is 4, right? So in general, in general, A, uh, column, comma, N will give you the nth column. Okay, all of the elements of the nth column. And A, N, comma, column will give you all of the elements of the nth row. As simple as that. Okay? So, uh, what if what if we want to choose several uh, elements? Okay? Uh, several rows. We want row 1, row 2, row, five, uh, row 3, rather, row 5 here, for example. How do we go about it? You write uh, the name of the variable containing the array. You open your brackets, okay? At the level of the rows, you indicate all of the rows with what? With uh, a particular vector. Or in this case, they are arranged in an arithmetic progression, right? Row 1, row 3, and row 5. So we can say 1 is to 2 is to 5, right? Then comma, we want all of the rows. So we can just put column and that should give us all of those rows. This is the first row, as you can see. This is the second row, uh, the third row rather, as you can see. And this is the fifth row, as you can see. So the same applies to columns. So all of these principles we've seen in indexing so far, all of them are highly flexible, okay? You can use them at any given time interchangeably, right? So don't learn a new principle and forget and forget the previous one. You have to be uh, continuous in your way of understanding uh, the, the lessons.
Okay, so basically that's the second way we use the column operator, okay? The column operator is used this way to get all of a specific dimension, right? So you can also outline with the column operator all of the elements of a particular matrix in a column format. So I can say A column, right? A column will give me all of these elements, okay, in a column format, as you can see. In a in a column vector, okay. So the way it is stored in memory: nine, ten, two, ten, seven, nine, ten, two, ten, seven, then one, three, six, ten, ten, then one, three, six, ten, ten. Okay, and it continues like that, right to the end. So this can be very handy, okay. And uh, as you're using my lab, you will see how. Okay, so uh, see you in the next section where we shall be seeing a. Another specialty in uh, in uh, in indexing, which is the end keyword. Okay, is it a keyword? Well, we'll see that.